Hello again. Welcome to week four. The midterm is this coming Saturday, May 22nd, starting at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time. The midterm is timed. You will have two hours and 15 minutes to complete the exam. As I mentioned last week, the midterm covers chapters one through three and labs zero through four. The midterm does not include the material that we do cover this week. The Zoom link for the midterm is shown here and can also be found by clicking on the Zoom label on the left Canvas Global Navigation panel. In addition, the link can be found in the Module 4 Introduction on Canvas. The midterm is open book and open internet, but not open neighbor. Other requirements are no leaving the computer without the proctor's okay, answering text messages, chats, phone calls, or talking to other people in the room. Please read the message on Canvas before you take the exam. The TA will be the proctor for the exam. Just a reminder, if you have questions, I have an office hour on Thursday at 8 p.m. Because of the midterm, We'll cover less material this week than usual. We'll step out of the textbook sequence and begin a more in-depth study of network security. We will cover the first half of chapter eight, which is about 38 pages of reading. As an aid to visualizing network security principles, we will use three well-known fixtures in the security community. Alice and Bob, who want to communicate securely, and Trudy, who wants to intercept and or tamper with their communications. Now Alice, Bob, and Trudy don't have to be people. They could be machines such as computers and other devices. We will study four desirable principles of secure communications. Confidentiality. How do we ensure that Alice and Bob are the only ones that understand the contents of their messages and no one can eavesdrop on them? Message integrity. How do we ensure that the messages between Alice and Bob are not altered? Another aspect of this integrity principle is non-repudiation. If Bob has claimed that he has not sent a message, how can Alice confirm this? Endpoint authentication is the third principle. Are Alice and Bob really who they say they are? What are their identities? And how do they prove that? The fourth principle is operational security. How do we protect the data in all layers of the TCP IP stack? And how do we protect the network itself from attack? During this week, we will cover sections 8.1 to 8.5. In weeks five to seven, we'll go back to the textbook sequence and we'll study the nuts and bolts of networking before finishing the final part of the network security chapter in the final week of the class. Okay, for this week, read the assigned sections in chapter eight and view the associated videos. Do the chapter quiz and chapter problem set. They are shorter than usual. Make your journal entry and submit programming assignment number two. Finally, complete lab six and its associated quiz. That is the only lab this week. After this week, you will have completed half the class. We hope that you have learned a lot and that you're enjoying your journey into the world of networking.